Hey everyone, welcome to a um, iRacing video. We're going to do something different uh, from the usual race room thing. Um, actually, going to do a pickup cup race. And sorry, just fiddling around with stuff here. Um, do a pickup cup race. Uh, sort of my first foray back into iRacing after I did that video with Dan. Um, this is like my second race back after four, six months off maybe, I'd say, from my racing. Yeah, I finally just renewed my subscription. Just did it for a month, test the waters again. Uh, before I jump back in uh, to official races, I'm going to do some um, non-official unranked stuff. So you don't lose any I rating and it's just basically for fun. Um, so this is the Pickup Cup. Uh, in the Chevy Silverado and we're at Phoenix Oval uh, just a one mile or 1.6 kilometers whichever way you want to look at it um, track it's it's not difficult but you just got to get your corner speeds right for turn one and whatever the last one is turn four I would presume sometimes there's five sometimes there's three on ovals um, there was 90 something people registered really do couldn't get out of the way huh um, 90 something registered with, I don't know, there's about the 30 track minutes, one I'd it's say. Now 27 Celsius. Yeah, so uh, they're out practicing there at the moment while everyone loads into the server, I would presume. And um, so I won't bother doing that. I'll just get out and quali and then we'll do the race. Uh, I did one yesterday, there was 24 in the split. Um, last night I actually put on my Twitch channel, so I'll put the link to that video if you want to watch it at Johnny Mars um, watching me there as well um, yeah, and I, I won't, won't give you a spoiler alert but yeah I started up the back and I finished up the front there somewhere so yeah I'll, I'll link that and if you wanted to just subscribe to my Twitch channel as well I'm only pretty new on that thing um, sort of my bugger around channel yeah so I think we're just about done with practice and we'll um we'll get into qualifying in a minute. Yeah, there's only five seconds remaining, there's a few madmen out on the track there. I would say that this is going to be a um I'd say that this is gonna be a eh, it it'll be fun. They usually are, but a lot of people take these races a bit serious, you'll probably hear it over the radio. So we're going to qualify now. Uh, I've never used H-Pattern before with NASCAR, but I'm going to have a crack. Or pick up the looks something clear. as All NASCAR. Right, We've got two laps to get the job done. Unfortunately, I don't have a... Um, I don't have pedal cam, there's not much to see because once you get it into fourth gear, you basically stay in fourth gear. Unless you sort of get checked up. I hope I don't do what I did yesterday. I um, spun it on the last corner on my first time lap, so my second time lap was a couple of seconds off the pace. Temperatures falling. It's now 27 Celsius. So yeah, you're fine with these. With these races, like I said, they're just for fun. Don't need to get carried away with them. Oh. Now these are fixed setup races as well, so. Doing alright. New fastest lap for Tartan, 29.5. The leader has just done a 29.1. New fastest lap for Morrison, 29.1. Yeah, nearly in the 28s. So, obviously going to be a decent sort of a split. Like right, I so said, there's not um. So that's it, you only get two laps. 29.8 I'm in right, pre-12. So it's all fixed set up, you can't change anything. Um, 
so yeah, we'll see how we go. We'll try and get crew tree sounding a bit better here. So now we just wait. We had a couple of minutes to go before the um couple of minutes to go before the race starts. And when you're in the middle of the field like this so uh, 22, 4, 2, 4, 6, 8, yeah, 30, 30 guys in here, um, you actually tell where they're all from too, so a lot of from America, America, I'm probably the only Australian in here, yeah, I was NZ and one from New Zealand, and pretty much everywhere else, um, Apart from one European, I would say, is from the land of the free. And the home of the brave, apparently, as their tune goes. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll try and beat the Americans at their own game. Uh, especially when you get the good luck racing y'all down the bottom. Uh, he's obviously from the south of North America, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So, yeah, like I was saying with Dan, this is not a bad simulator. It is expensive. Um, when you want to just keep, you know, if you want to keep buying everything, yes, it is. Just buy the stuff that you, if you're going to do it, buy the stuff that you are going to race. Um, and with iRacing's business model, like any business has, uh, the further you need to advance, the more you have to buy, including tracks and cars. And so, yeah, it does become quite expensive. But what else do you spend your money on, really? You know, you can, you know, whatever you do in life costs money. And if you're, if you're on your rig or, you know, you do this a lot, well, it's really cheap investment once you buy it. You own it, but you have to have an apti active subscription to use it. Um, where, you know, the likes of Race Room or ACC or whatever, once you buy the, the game and the content, they're yours. You know, you can do That's what you like. That's the end of the session. 15th place. This, even I tried to update the game yesterday before I resubscribed and it said I didn't have an act active subscription. I couldn't do anything until I did that. So, yeah. Alright, so we're going to grid up, there'll be people here saying good luck and stuff like that, and first laps you'll get fellas go, man, that was crazy. Mike Tech. You're good. Yeah. So there is a bit Thanks. of chatter on the, chatter on the old, um, thing every now and then. One to go, next time by, you'll be lining up on the inside. Pit road is closed right now. There we go. So we've got all the... We've got both crew chiefs on. Probably should have turned the in-game one off and just left um, Jim on there, but... Yeah. I'll change that to relative now. So you can see all that, hopefully. Um, oh, this keeps dropping back to... Hang on, I'll get rid of the taskbar down the bottom, and away let me... several screens and I think I've just had the, uh, you know, you can see that shadows are a little bit pixely and stuff like that in car, but, you know, for my system what I've got, triple screens, 90 frames a second, with all the cars on the tracks, not too bad. So it does run pretty decent if you let it auto calibrate, you can adjust around a, little, a few little things, but the track temp is 28 Celsius. P15. Ready to go. We need to follow car number eight in the inside column. We're getting a bit agitated. 
Hold up on the outside lane. Hold up on the outside lane. The fellas are already coming into contact with each other. What are you doing though with me, bro? You don't talk to me, you damn it, this guy behind me. I think he might have been from America, that guy. Just Sorry, he's caught in the show, my fault. Both of them. It's all full of Americans. Need to close the gaps to the guy ahead. This is their thing. It's I know, like. I you damage, though. You have it is like the V8 supercars in Australia. Me. Good luck, everybody. Two and a half. You the one that stops and won't go. Oh. Okay, Brian. Have a good race. Good luck. Alright, I like to leave a tiny bit of a gap. Let's hope we don't get wrecked. So a lot of people just want to go steaming in. There'll be accidents. Hopefully I don't get caught up in it. There's one, one going already. There's two. Oh, that was a murder. Oh, there's another one. He's coming in the wall. Oh, it is happening up here. Oh, Woo. hoot nanny. Oh, mate's got a blown engine up here. There, that was just. Another car I did. I did. He's going to the pits. He got wrecked. The leader's just done a 29.1. That was absolute craziness. I don't know how I survived that. <coughs> oh, mate, he's losing it in front of me here. Try and get around him as soon as I can. Try and get the drive off the corner or start back in, start to get out on me. You gotta watch them because these cars, because they've got so much camber on the front. Obviously, for banked ovals. Well, this guy here is struggling to keep his under control and I've got fellas coming up behind me. As you can see in the mirror, up the top. Susan, is now A bit of damage. Don't take me out, good man. Let me pass there, boy. You're slowing me up. Come on, son. Let me through. Seventh position. Oh, the lap time was a on him. No, Holding the high line. The car outside. Probably should have shoved it back to third, but yeah, somebody else is going to try and stuff it in there three wide. Still there. Still there. Can't stop the yellow. Clear high. Yes. Sixth place. Panic city there, I tell you, for the first few laps. The gap in front is now 5.5 seconds. How mental was it? Stop that. Oh. Morrison is now in the lead. Two or three lead changes up front. Dylan's getting a bit closer to me here. 
This is a very, that's a tricky little oval this, really, really wants to spit you at these corners, you know, you get, oh, I'm not shoving it down low there, tiny bit of space, I know he's not going to make it stick, you got to wash off a lot of speed on the inside line, you just got to be careful that they don't come drifting up in here. E6. People, people behind me. Ooh. I don't mean about that. Get the slide job. He's right on my bumper. Tires wear and you can't keep the same speeds throughout the race. Have some. You've just done a 30.5. You want the back marker, lap guy, let's hope you done. Get on my road. We're halfway home. Fuel looks okay. The gap in front is now 6.1. Up cups aren't as stable as the NASCARs, but they're a damn lot of fun. The gap ahead is now 6.4 seconds. So, what we're going to do, hopefully, I don't do the same as what I'm about to suggest, but we've got to hope a few of the top guys up here happen to fall off the road or take each other out. We get further up, but if not, Cap two, we left behind is now not a bad. That lap time was 30.6. Not bad go so far. Keep it up. Jenkins is leading the race. Another leader, so hopefully the leaders will be battling and they start to get a bit racy. Big gap, a big pack of them up the front up here. I think as I had to lift off a lot. In those first couple of laps with cars going <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> we ain't happy. You wrecked behind me, what did that do to you? You cut me out. You cut me out. 
pick touch you off your lap underneath you. Uh, no. Cut me off. I didn't even get a fucking lap time was 30.7. Yeah, you didn't touch me, right? I spun up kind of avoid you. Drama. Then he's gone. I'm not really. I'm closing the gap up a little bit to the lead, and we've had somebody, somebody coming up. Morgan is closing in. The gap yeah, is now. I saw that. Morgan's catching me. Just starting to get the skates on a bit. Does start, just does get close. So where you just let them through. You can try and hold them off for a little while, but honestly, they're gonna, they're gonna try and just put it wherever they can to get. So you like to watch them. Yeah, trying to get you to shove up to the barrier. Yeah, thanks, Stan. Just done at 31.2. Sorry, mate. Oh, cars. That's for position. Push, push, push. We can catch this car. Well, not about that crew, Chief. He just went around me. A couple more coming, too. Oh, we're going to wreck up here. P6. I believe that might be the back one. Look at it held up. Used to back mark as a. Oh, look at this, look at this, look at this. That car high. He's still there. See the back mark as all up old mate there. Two to go. Oh. Two to go. Oh, Red Bull man. 18, you see more right, how to get out of the way, bud. The cap two, Morrison, ahead is now. Four point two. They're inside. Clear outside. Clear outside. Clear to go. Slow one in here. Which I've called that because I would have probably popped, B6. popped it up high go. and made a big bag of doodles. See if I can hold on to this six spot. It's a break early. And then pretty hard to overtake down the bottom here. And whoo! Decker. P6, okay, it's over. Good drive. See, people will talk about just turning left is boring. Actually, enjoy it. It's very nerve wracking. Um, yeah, so there you go. Good me, good me. There you go. Alright, well, that was pick up cup at Phoenix. Um, yeah, ended up six there. There's no point going and showing the I, race, I rating or anything like that because if you don't get anything, it's unranked. Uh, I only finished 10 seconds off the lead, which isn't too bad for 25 lap race. Um, and uh, yeah, I was slowed up a fair bit there. So, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that. It's something different. And um, we will catch us all on the next one, whichever I decide to do. So keep a look out. Okay.
Og bare nærmere.